Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You see what's behind me here? We got guitar boxes. So you know what that means? More guitar unboxings. We have three boxes here that just got dropped off and we're gonna crack them open. I see that two of them are from the same person, one of my customers who I believe is trading in a guitar and possibly some other stuff in one of the boxes. I wanna pause for a second right here just to let you guys know it is a ton of video game stuff. This was a great haul and I'm gonna show you guys everything right now, a bunch of really cool rare games and a bunch of awesome common games. This video really focuses more on the video game stuff, but if you want to see the guitar stuff, go check out my main channel, Guitar Guts. I'll link to the video down in the description below, but there's another part to this video that shows all the guitar stuff in depth. Now let's get back to the gaming stuff. And then his guitar that I'm going to be rebuilding later on Trash to Thrash is in the other box. By the way, it's Friday, just past 5 p.m. Picked up my packages and I'm basically done working for the day other than this and then possibly a couple other small things after this. So cheers to you all. Are you guys beer drinkers? Hopefully um, only asking the ones that are above 21 out there. What kind of beer do you guys like? I'm an IPA guy myself. So I love to have a couple beers, three beers at night or so with dinner. Help me wind down. All right, now this is a sweet guitar. This is a 1990 Charvel Spectrum and it was sent in by my customer, Abdiel. I'm gonna be doing a ton of work to it, including repairing the bridge post and refinishing it and all kinds of other stuff. And to help cover part of the bill for all this work I'm doing, Abdiel sent in a bunch of gaming stuff to trade in and a guitar. I love when people send in trade in stuff because I give them a discount on their build and then I can keep some of the stuff from my collection and then sell some of it off. Oh, wow. All right, so this one was pretty heavy. This box is the stuff that Abdiel's trading in as payment for the rebuild and refinish of his Charvel. And this was heavy, I actually know what the guitar is and it's a small guitar, so that shouldn't have been that heavy. That was the heaviest thing today by far. Um, I know that there's some other stuff in here now, so let's get this thing popped open. I try to make it real easy on my customers because I remember when I was in high school, I used to buy my guitars from American Musical Supply, not a sponsor, but I always appreciated the fact that they do those those easy payments where they break it up into e even payments and then they just automatically bill your your debit card. I really appreciated that back in the day. It helped me get a bunch of gear that I would have normally normally been able to get and I'm kind of trying to do the same thing with my customers because I understand if you want a paint job and new pickups, new tuners and a new bridge, you know, think about it. That's going to be expensive. The cost of the pickups is 200 bucks, the bridge if you want a Floyd's 250 bucks. The tuners are a hundred bucks. This stuff adds up quick. And then the labor to install it all and intonate and set up and restring and rewire it all. I mean, we're talking about a thousand dollars with a paint job, you know, $1,200 or something total. So um, I try to make it easy by offering a bunch of solutions like 50% down and then you can pay the, ex the remaining 50% while I'm working on the guitar, which takes three to six months a lot of times. So you have an extra possibly six months to pay for the other, if you have a thousand dollar bill, you know, 500 bucks. Um, also I take trade-ins. So if you have old guitars you don't care about that much anymore and old video game stuff, things that you may think I might be interested in, um, I'm an eBay reseller. So I'll take some of the video game stuff, add it to my collection back there and then take the rest of it and throw it up on my eBay store. But the point is that I'll take your guys' old stuff in that you don't want anymore and you can ship it into me and use that as credit towards your rebuild or refinish or if you want new pickups or whatever else. So if you have some stuff lying around that you think I might be interested in, send me an email, mark at guitargets.com and let's talk. Obviously we have to factor in shipping costs. So, you know, think about that. I'm not gonna be able to give you full resale value as if you went on eBay and resold it yourself. But if you really wanna go on eBay and resell it yourself, of course you, I, encourage you to do that and get full value out of it but there's a lot of time and effort and experience and knowledge for you know just posting and learning how to ship stuff that some people don't want to deal with and I totally get that but I will say this I'll give you better prices than Guitar Center would give you on a guitar and I'll give you better prices than GameStop would give you on games so if you look at the corporate people which a mo the majority of people would just go trade their stuff in like that I'll give you a better price than those people, of course. We got one more box way down there at the bottom. Gotta get it out without dropping it. Okay, so awesome. This looks really cool. 
I'm looking forward to this right now. We got four boxes here. We got a guitar here wrapped up in bubble wrap in a case. All right, so let's start with the guitar first. The rest of this is gonna be video game stuff, I'm pretty sure. Oh, nice Strandberg case. Man, this is already off the bat. Look at that case, Strandberg. Very nice case. Always oh, checking here in case someone leaves some money in there. No money in, in it this time. I've never actually found money, but find cables and straps and all kinds of cool stuff. Tuners. Okay, so look at this thing, guys. It's a Kiesel. No, it's not a Kiesel. Dang, this thing is trippy, though. What is the, na the name of this? He sent it to me. It's a... It's a knockoff, basically, of a Kiesel. Wow, look at this thing. Originally, I was thinking I was just probably going to sell this thing outright and just recuperate some cash off it, but to be honest, I see a lot of potential in this. Yeah, this is cool. Really cool, really fun guitar, I bet. I'll even throw it back in the gig bag and throw it over there on the guitar rack. I get a kick out of weird stuff like that because I don't think I've ever refinished anything that weird before. I do have a Steinberger over there. But I think I'm going to do the EVH Steinberger replica with that. And that new one, oh, I don't know, something cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Crackle, splatter, swirl, crystal, plain paint job. Too bad, not doing that one, so don't say that. <laughs> give, me a, give me some cool ideas, some inspiration, because that is a sick guitar. All right, cool. Now we got four boxes here. Mystery boxes, kind of mysteries. I kind of know what's in them. Video game stuff, of course. He sent me some pictures, but I don't remember exactly what's in there. So let's get these things open. As I like to say, let's crack them open. All right, guys, there's only a few things that excite me as much as guitars. And one of them is video game stuff. So let's check it out. Let's see what we got in here. Woo, we got games. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's put these down on the table where you guys can see them. We got games. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, PS2 games right here. Woo, I do not have a big PS2 collection. So this is pretty cool. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Yeah, there's some good ones in here. Got a couple more right here. Oh, this is, we got some PlayStation 1 games right here. We'll get into a close-up and show you everything in a minute. Oh, wow. Wow. I had some of these games when I was a kid. Oh, my gosh. There's some really good, nice stuff in here. <laughs> Ooh, Super Nintendo. We got Killer Instinct. Classic Black Cart. That is sick. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to play that one. One of the first ones I play. A Street Fighter game here, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I have a Street Fighter over there. I think I have Super Street Fighter 2. There are so many different Street Fighter games. Third Strike is my favorite. All right, so in box one so far, let's get through this stack. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Sukoden. I'll say Sukoden 4. PS2, of course. Onimusha. Dawn of Dreams, Need for Speed Underground 2, Need for Speeds are always good, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, super fun, Guilty Gear XX Core, uh, A Core, I don't know, Action, Accent Core, Mega Man X Collection, so which ones are on here, seven games in one, I love uh, Mega Man always has these like multi games. There are so many cool Mega Man games. So I actually don't have any Mega Man. I think PS2 might even be like the perfect platform for Mega Man because I really think, you know, SNES, but PS2 has perfect performance and Mega Man is known for having a lot of activity on the screen at each time. So I bet you PS2 is probably killer for Mega Man. Uh, we got uh, Drakengard. Again, I do not know how to pronounce these names. And then we got this other stack, so... Okay, let's start with this one. For PS1, we got Metal Gear, Solid, Original. 
Uh, this is one of the games I had when I was younger. Somebody gave it to me. It's very difficult. I didn't get very far. I never beat it. But now I have a chance. I got it in the collection. Um, like I said, some of this stuff will get sold. Mega Man, Metal Gear, some of this other stuff will definitely be staying in the collection. Killer Instinct. Metal Gear 2 here, Sons of Liberty. We got Metal Gear 3, Snake Eater. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. It's a 10. Final Fantasy. I always struggle with these. 12. I used to love Roman numerals when I was a kid. This actually reminds me of the Gothic uh, Les Pauls and Gibsons. The V's, Explorers. They have the Roman numeral at the 12th fret. Um, this is Final Fantasy 12 also, I think. Are they both Final Fantasy 12? XII, yeah. Here we got Bully. I don't know what that game is. Capcom vs. SNK. These are really cool games always. And then Need for Speed Underground 1. Solid stack of PS2 games there. And then also over here we got Thousand Arms. I don't know this one. Looks good. And Tony Hawk 2. I have Tony Hawk 2. Do I have the green label or do I have black label? Let's see. I have black label, so, okay. Well, this will go up on the eBay store or it'll get bundled with the PlayStation that I sell because one of my favorite things to do is if I can get a good deal on a console or find one broken that I can repair, I'll then collect all my favorite games and like take like two months to collect all the games and then bundle them with the system and sell it as something that if I saw it, I'd be like, oh my God, I gotta have that. Dang, okay, so that was one box. Let's check out box number two. Oh, I just saw something that is, something I've wanted in my collection for a long time, right on top. That is, Game Shark for N64. Game Shark and Game Genies are, are ways to hack the game. You put the game, you put this thing in this, the console and then you put, the game on top of this and you can load in all these crazy cheats that would like hack the game give you unlimited health unlimited life jump higher anything you can imagine as far and also like create glitches that will give you like weird stuff i love this kind of stuff i used i've had a couple game sharks never had a game shark for s uh for n64 oh my god a couple bangers right off the bat we got super smash bros and star wars shadows of the empire Dang, sick games right here. And N64 was one of my favorite systems, so. Oh yeah, a couple, couple more killers. Wait, we got another Shadows of the Empire? So we got doubles here of that. Um, we got Duke Nukem and Mario 64. One of my favorite games. Also, if you didn't know, the most expensive video game of all time that sold at auction was a brand new un unopened sealed copy of Mario 64 that sold just like a few months ago or within the last year sometime, $1 million for a brand new unopened copy in 2022. How crazy is that? Opened, it's worth 30 bucks. Okay, and then we got some cables here. I love cables. I could tell what it is obviously because I know it's with N64 and who doesn't know this? If you've had an N64, you know what that is. That's a power supply. We got the video cable there. Here we go, N64. Beautiful, that's a nice one. In the classic gray. N64 is one of my top consoles. I really love almost all the consoles, so it's hard to rank them. I don't like to rank things that I love. All right, let's see what's in box number three. Box two was, box one was crazy. I just remembered all those PlayStation games. What do we have here? A bunch of individually wrapped, very nice. Incredible packing job here. Okay, here we have a memory card. Oh, wow, original. This is, I love seeing stuff like this. Yeah, it's so old school. PlayStation, original memory card. This must be for a PS1. Clear like that, I love clear. <laughs> we got cables for a PlayStation, possibly a PS2 actually. PS2 is also, oh no, I see it. There's the PlayStation. Ooh, nice black controller. This is a PS2 controller, DualShock. You can tell it's got the DualShock right back here. Oh yeah, look at this. We've got a red 
the Yobo. I've had these uh, aftermarket controllers. These are pretty good, actually. I've used these. I actually have one down there right now. And then we got a PS1. So if any of you guys are interested in the PS1 or the N64, let me know because I do have both of these systems. So these will be going on the eBay page. Is this different than mine? Hold on a second. So this is the one I just opened up and look at this, the eject symbol and the on off symbol. Whereas mine is too dark. Let me shine some light. There we go. Uh, it says power and it says open. Same color scheme. Interesting. What model is this? Because I'm pretty sure I've got a few PlayStations around here. So this, these are a few that don't work. We'll look at these top two. There's one under them too, but both of these stay open like the one I have. So is that all that power one? Maybe it's like the original version, the launch version. I'll have to do some research. If you guys know, write it in the comments, let me know. Yeah, so I'll have to do a little bit of searching to find out if this is like a special PS1. Or is it like a later released one? Or is it from a different country? I don't know. PAL. Wait, PAL? Yeah, see, look at this. All the games are NTSC, which is North America and United States and Canada. And this is like a an English one. Or it looks like German. There's like a bunch of different type of writing on here. I'll look up this part number and I'll find out what this is. Okay. And now we got box number four here. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Okay. So we got a super card, which is probably like a reproduction that has a lot of different games on it. Maybe I'll fire that up and check it out. Dragon Warrior 3 for Game Boy. This looks sick. Game Boy Color. G Mario Golf for Game Boy. This is reproduction. Looks super nice. Oh, Tetris. I see Tetris here. I actually don't have a copy of Tetris. That's really cool. Super Chase HQ for Game Boy. So we got some Game Boy games. That's really cool. Oh man, I actually forgot this was even going to be in there. Got a purple Game Boy Color. How cool. I love Game Boy Colors. That's what was uh, the, the hot thing. And when I was young, that's what I had. When Pokemon became big. And then we got a black N64 controller. Nice condition. And we have a gray N64 controller. Oh, this one's even better. This stick is like really good. Very awesome. Man, this was a great, great little uh, come up here. was a mighty haul. Check it out, guys. That is some good stuff. N64 games, a sick headless guitar with lumen lay, maple neck. That's going to be looking really insane after I refinish it. A stack of PS1 and PS2 games, Super Nintendo games, Game Shark for N64. Got the Game Boy Color, a bunch of N64 games. Some cool old school Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation 1 from Germany or something, and then an N64 back here, North America edition. So, yes, excellent haul. Can't wait to do some work on that guitar, and it's going to be good. So, hope you enjoyed watching me open a bunch of boxes. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Rock on, my friends.